Hi, welcome to Gaia's work. In this video we're gonna show you the Phoenix uh, low dining table. How it was made. And uh, now uh, I am uh, arranging and uh, sorting the, the wood and picking each and every one of them uh, in order to fit as a as a color and uh, contrast and shortly you will see me starting uh, to do the cutting and uh, me measuring and then uh, cutting to size the blanks so I can have the right dimensions for the materials that I uh, choose to use for this project is uh, black walnut and the reason is that uh, I did some trials before with uh, other materials such as uh, oak, pine and um, they were not what I was needed. So I will explain to you later when the time will come why actually the reason, specific reason is that I choose the black walnut for this project. Now, as you may see, I started already to do the measuring and um, what I was about to tell you in here is Gaia's work, we are dedicated to be different by design. So you will like the complexity and uh, the originality that we do try every time to achieve. Now, you, as you will see, the process of uh, building actually the whole table is a bit uh, tedious. The reason is the lack of space. I'm using now uh, the tape uh, to to help uh, after, when I cut to help me avoid the splinters, so the cut will be clean. Now obviously um, I advise everybody and not just advise, strongly advise them while they do work with uh, machineries or working with wood or any other materials do please uh, wear protective uh, equipment especially now I should have, uh, have uh, protective gloves but uh, for me it's a routine and uh, I did that uh, before, so I had no no problem. Now, in uh, in meanwhile, I will st I will tell you something about me. Now, uh, for me, carpentry is uh, is a hobby, but uh, I do have uh, in the past, a long time ago, I had. Um, a wonderful person that teach me carpentry and uh, what I loved uh, at his work was uh, the extent use of uh, traditional joinery and traditional carpentry. It uh, gives uh, a long lasting life to the job and uh, the work that you do, especially the, in the wood and uh, I love it. The results they're always uh, extremely beautiful. So now um, I already started. Uh, as you may well see, I use my plunger for drilling holes for the 
the Domino Dowels is a tedious work. I wouldn't recommend it because it is uh, very accurate. You have to be very precise in uh, in this doing this. But uh, if you want, you there there are tools on the market that uh, they are dedicated for drilling uh, holes for Domino Dowels. So my choice was this because I don't uh, I don't want to spend uh, so much money having so many tools at the moment. So with a, I did achieve the same uh, the same results with uh, the plunger. I'm very happy with it. It's a very good tool and uh, didn't let me down uh, during the project. And uh, I'm very happy with uh, again with the result. Why uh, I didn't uh, mention earlier the leftovers that I have it uh, from uh, cutting to size uh, the the length of the table. So the materials that they, they've been left over, I use them uh, for the legs and uh, for the seats for the coffee table for the low dining table. Now you will see. I mean, the, the I have another place that I'm uh, working on the on the legs and uh, the seats that you're not going to see in this video because uh, safety reason. I don't want to encourage people to work with uh, and do the Richtenberg figures. That means uh, high electricity voltage apply to wet wood and uh, I really don't want the people to be encouraged to do this kind of thing now as you may see now I already started with the trying the if uh, the measurements and the holes uh, for the uh, diamond uh, domino the dominoes are fit in place Now I'm arranging the I'm arranging the heavy duty clamp bars and uh, I start uh, I'm gonna start uh, gluing and uh, going ahead with uh, the joinery now as you see I take my time uh, with the, the glue I make sure the gap the, the all the holes there are evenly uh, filled with uh, the glue now you will see that I, I I'm gonna place inside the dominoes and then place them back with uh, extra glue so I will give enough glue plentiful actually glue so the wood be able to absorb and to have a better grip now, guys, I want to everybody to pay attention and to, to remember this is the most important part. If you are going to do the slightest mistake in here, you will cost you the whole project. So take your time. Take your time. Make sure that they are all uh, nice and precisely placed. And uh, as a trick, I mean a trick, uh, what I do, I... Uh, I put a little bit of water in a, in a butter, in a glue bottle because of uh, all the glues now they are uh, made for faster curing, faster drying. So by adding a little bit of uh, water in a bottle and shake it well, when I use it, it gives me a little bit more time before it dries. So that's what uh, you see here. Taking my time, I don't. I'm not rushing, I'm not uh, rushing the project. Now, you see, the 
when you insert the in your arrange it and you fit in place the the wood the best way is to do the best you can to have it upwards i know everybody is doing uh, uh, leveled but i don't like that because it tends to the glue tends to be drawn by gravity so we will go in one side and the top we will be uh, not with much uh, glue again this is a tip uh, that i had it from uh, that uh, old experience uh, carpenter and uh, he was genuinely I mean, wonderful with that uh, trick that he teach me and you will see now all the time uh, while you're doing the in after uh, gluing and uh, tidying to place the, the project uh, try and do the best you can to have it clean on both sides to remove the extra uh, glue that uh, you will come out when uh, you apply force to it now uh, for the for this project I've been uh, inspired uh, the low dining table I was inspired by uh, a traditional Japanese uh, dining tables and uh, what I didn't do uh, the height of the table is a bit higher than uh, Japanese standard traditional uh, dining table I did that because uh, if you it gives the opportunity to the customers to have it using used as a dining table and after that they can use it as a coffee table as well too so yeah it can be used as a coffee table it will be a bit low a bit high it will it will be up to you so with uh, the regards to the clamps the heavy duty clamps guys i i highly recommend you not to not to spare uh, any money if, if when it comes to them don't don't get uh, the low quality ones that they are bending or because you will affect your 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 work a lot especially on heavy duty or as you may see I use uh, six planks so it's quite uh, you need quite force to to have them uh, joined together now yeah what I did uh, for example in here I have uh, in total eight clamps but I use for this time only six because they are plentiful and uh, the spread of force is e is even is even and uh, the the table came out perfect now after you see after you uh, tidying up the clamps uh, you the, what I did in here for example every 10 minutes 15 minutes I came and I uh, keep on spin uh, the and tie the, even harder the, the table and, but in the same time making sure that the uh, in-betweens they are not going to to bend uh, the shape of uh, the table so every time when you when you work with uh, wood and uh, you use the uh, epoxy or glue attend to it uh, any any time I mean every so often because you never know how the pressure will influence can be applied to it the force that will be applied to it will influence the, the table
Now, as you may well see, uh, I started already. Uh, I finished uh, after two weeks. I left it for two weeks to dry the table. I took out the clamps, and uh, now the table will be ready to be sanded. I'm now. I asked my son to give me a hand to remove the the excess of uh, the glue, the drips that they are doing on the bottom. So. What I do is mostly I care about uh, the front one on the beginning, so they will be nice, even and uh, before it will get dry. And uh, now my son he takes his time and uh, removes the, as I said, the drips. I'm getting ready with my uh, my wonderful sender for sending the the all the glue that uh, he was uh, spread out of the on top of the table. I'm using a 280 grit, and uh, I love this uh, this tool. Unfortunately, I can't uh, say nothing about the tools because I'm not sponsored about uh, for anyone. So I love the tools, but the companies uh, I don't have anybody that uh, they reach to reach up to me to offer me sponsorship. I would be more than happy to recommend you the tools that I'm working with, and uh, who knows, maybe in the future I will be able to. So I did a lot of. Uh, improvisation with my work as you see I'm using a uh, regular Hoover I'm not uh, into much of uh, professional ones at the moment now you see again uh, is a tedious uh, work sending it but uh, I like uh, to take my time and uh, to whatever I do to be perfect you see the way I uh, choose uh, and handpick the, the the wood. It it is so beautiful, so so even. It looks like uh, only two pieces of three pieces of wood put together. Now you will see slowly, slowly we will get to to the finish line, <laughs> and. Uh, what I'm doing now and now I'm using the router to smooth out uh, the edges what I forgot to tell you was that uh, yeah I took uh, I do I took a time uh, for letting it dry more than two weeks and uh, finishing the sanding and uh, that's a wrap for more detailed videos of uh, how it was made we have uh, other two parts coming for you to see on behalf of Gaia's work team we thank you for your interest uh, in watching us till next time